I'm Dr. Charlotte Armour. I'm a research scientist at the Institute of Food Research, which is based in Norwich. Um, I've worked as a research scientist um, for 14 years, um, mostly on human intervention studies, looking at the relationship between diet and health. And I'm currently working on a project associated with broccoli, um, our most favourite vegetable apparently, and the biochemicals in broccoli and how they may affect um, a person's risk of cardiovascular disease. I was born and brought up in London, um, West London, north of the river. Um, my parents are from Ghana and they immigrated um, in the 50s. They came to England to kind of find a better life for themselves and for their children. When they first arrived and when I was born, we were living in a really tiny masonette. Um, I think we had about three rooms and we had to share kind of facilities and stuff like that. I didn't really enjoy that bit, but anyway. And then we moved to a council flat um, just down the road. And for me, as a youngster, it was just amazing because I had my own room. You know, we had lots of different rooms that I could run in and out of, so that was very exciting. Um, I went to an ordinary comprehensive school in Turnham Green, and then I went to the local secondary school, um, Eleanor Wilkinson. And after that, I went to the University of Sussex to do medicinal chemistry. Well, my parents were very keen, especially my dad, on education. Education, education, education. Um, I think one of the main reasons was because um, my dad and my mother, they both thought that perhaps if they had been born in England, they could have achieved so much more than they, 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 they actually did. And so they wanted me, the first child born to them in this country, to, to, to achieve as much as possible. You know, the world was out there. England was a land of opportunity, so I should be able to achieve whatever I wanted to achieve. I suppose working in science, you know, I started off in chemistry, then moved to pharmacology and nutrition. Um, I've always kind of been, I suppose, one of very few black people around, you know, ethnic minority people around. Um, it's not something that's ever really bothered me because all the people that I've been with, I suppose I consider to be fairly educated, intelligent people. And, you know, they've always been quite friendly. And, you know, I think some of the negativity associated with the colour thing is ignorance. And I don't know, these people around me seem pretty enlightened, so it's never been a problem. My mother has always been a bit concerned, you know, oh, so were there any other um, ethnic people there? And it's like, no, no, I was the only one. And she's like, oh, okay. You know, always a bit concerned. So in my most recent work, um, I'm working on broccoli and the effects of compounding broccoli on cardiovascular disease. And as a project, that involves me interacting with volunteers. So we get volunteers to come in and eat the broccoli. We take blood samples. So I'm involved with all of that. Um, I'm involved in the blood um, analysis. So we have a nurse who takes the blood. She'll give it to me. I'll kind of sort that out. I'm involved in organizing the delivery of broccoli, um, just generally keeping the volunteers happy on the study. Um, analyzing the results. Um, we publish papers and we present the results all over the world. As a child, I really enjoyed science and like the maths, the chemistry, the physics, but I wasn't really the sort of child who would mess around with chemistry at home. I didn't have like a chemistry set. I didn't read physics books, that sort of thing. Um, I spent a lot of my time in my room, you know, reading fiction, um, listening to the music, the chart show, the hits, you know, singing along to Whitney Houston, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and even throughout my whole science career, you know, science, is something that really um, oh, energizes me, enthuses me, but I have another life. I, I like entertaining, I like being social, I like going out, you know, that's the sort of thing I enjoy. And it, for me, kind of, it's a nice balance sort of life that I'm trying to lead. I've been fortunate enough to go to quite a few places with work and outside of work. And one of the exciting things about traveling is the food, you know, trying out all the different things. And so I try and bring um, a lot of the things I've seen in the countries I've been to, to the dining table and socialising. So it's kind of combining two joys and loves of mine. Basically, working as a scientist, as I am, is, is a brilliant job. It's varied. Never, um, one day is never the same as another. I get to travel. I get to meet all sorts of people. I get to interact with the public. Yeah, so, you know, for someone who started off on a council estate in London in the 70s, yeah, I think I've done okay.